question we are asked to find out what is the thevenin voltage and a resistance looking into the terminal x y that means this terminal now we have a dependent source here so first we will see how we are going to find out the thevenin voltage then you will see the approach for finding thevenin resistance now to find out the thevenin voltage the procedure is to open circuit the terminals is already done here now we have to find out the voltage across these two terminals we assume this voltage p v or v thevenin and this voltage we assume to be ground at a zero volt or zero potential now we are going to write the case here at this point or at this node that will be the current leaving this node we assume it as positive that means the current leaving this direction will be V minus 2i the voltage there divided by 1 ohm plus the current going through this 1 ohm resistance will be V by 1 the current entering we assume it as negative that means minus 2 ampere plus the current leaving in this direction will be V by 2 and this will be equal to 0 that is the K, KZL at this node now we have one equation and two unknown the another unknown here is I we can see that I is nothing but the current flowing through this 1 ohm which is V by 1 equal to I there is a current here that means I is nothing but V itself so from this we can reduce this equation to just one unknown that is V minus 2V plus V minus 2 plus V equal to 0 from this we have V equal to 4 volts this is nothing but the Thevenin voltage. But here we have already found out the Thevenin voltage. So we will find out the short circuit current across XY. That will be first we will short circuit these two terminals. Now once we short circuit, this resistance won't be in the picture this resistance will also not be in the picture since when this resistance is removed or this is short circuit the current flowing through this resistance will be zero that means I will be zero and this voltage source we can consider it as a short circuit okay now we just have a 2 ampere current source and a short right across so no current flows in this direction all the current flows through this short circuit that means I short circuit is 2 ampere from this we can find out that R7 is nothing but VH by I short circuit or I naught and that will be nothing but 4 by 2 that is 2 ohm first what we did we found out what is the thevenin voltage looking into the terminal then we found out what is the Norton current flowing through that short or the short circuit current across this terminal 
Now we have RTH is nothing but beta winning by I short circuit. 